Hello everybody, this is Executive Chef Hugo Miranda. You guys are watching BBLA. We're here at the heart of Uptown Whittier at the local fixture. We're gonna be checking out Chef Ted Montoya at the Rat Toast. Come check us out. Uh, what uh, we'll start, you know, cooking. What was your passion? Um, I just my. This when I was really little. My parents split up. I was like eight, and that's like when the Food Network first came out. Um, so all of a sudden, my dad like, well, he has this half the time like he has to cook dinner for me and my brother. So he started watching uh, Food Network and stuff. He used to watch Suzanne Feniger and then like, yeah. and so um, he would like try and get get creative make us well rancheros and things like that. And so, uh, yeah, at, at an early age, I used to like try and copy him. I guess I just wanted to like copy my dad. And then obviously my grandmas uh, on both sides of my family, like tamales, pozole, that was always like a big, a big deal in our, our family, you know? We always like eat, that's what we do. We're Latinos, we eat, you know? So what, what uh, nationality are you, chef? I'm Mexican American, I'm Chicano. Chicano. Yeah, Chicano. I'm from here, my dad's from Ensenada, so that's like my closest connection to to Mexico. So if you had if you had one word to uh, describe your cuisine, what word would it be? Uh, Chicano. Chicano, yeah. Because my food is, I feel, has like, definitely has Mexican roots, but it's very American, very California, and uh, specifically Alta California, you know? My family's from Baja, I'm from Alta try to stay market driven and local like as possible. There's a farmer's market here up the street from where we do our services every Friday. So, you know, we try to incorporate things that we find there. All straightforward stuff. We got these cool watermelon radishes going today. Again, strawberry bacon jam, which I had preserved already. Yeah, yeah, most of the time we, we get what, what we can there. So we're trying this uh, amazing avocado toast on a nine grain, nice puree, watermelon radish, some cucumber, some fresh Parmesan cheese, and some crisp garlic. And uh, everything's local here. It goes to the farmer's market once every Friday. So let's give this a try. You get the crunch, the acid from the balsamic, the salty and the creamy from the avocado. This dish is well complex. It has good textures. And honestly, the, the roasted garlic gives it that, uh, that super crunch and also that salty flavor. And we got this uh, mid-rare poached steak. So it still has that creamy texture to it. Dish is complex, modern, well-balanced, and refreshing. Chef, you got a hit. So we got a kind of like a breakfast burrito takes a taco. So we got a 50 tortilla that's uh, blue corn and then uh, flour tortilla infused together. We got fluffy eggs with shishito peppers. And then we got a, a chutney of uh, pepper bacon and uh, salsa that the chef makes fresco. So let's give this a taste. The salty from the eggs, the peppery from the bacon. And honestly, the sauce is not too spicy, but I'm seeing what the chef is doing is like very smoky, but the tortilla between the 50-50, you know, it's smooth, soft, and not too corny. Good job, chef. So we got the, the whipped ricotta toast with chia seeds, a bacon, strawberry jam on wheat toast. Honestly, it doesn't even look like it needs a, a knife to cut this in. Let's, let's, let's kind of get messy. Oh, the whipped ricotta. Super fluffy all over your mouth type of thing. The sweetness from the strawberries, the salty from the bacon. Honestly, this, this is well balanced. Good job, chef.
I'm Tim Montoya, and you're watching BBLA.